Alright guys, so I know it's a little difficult to understand what's going on in those shots, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm building a box out of plywood. Now every single edge in that box is a 46 degree angle. If it's 46 degrees, if it's just a hair over 45, it makes the outside of that joint a lot tighter than the inside, and the inside we're not going to see. We'll get back to the shelves a little later in the video. We went ahead and bought our TV that we're going to mount on the wall right there and figure out how we're going to mount this thing. I know that this sheeting sits away from the wall about an inch and I think I'm going to cut a hole in the wall here to where we can mount the TV mount. That way the TV sits a little closer to the wall. Once we put shiplap here, the TV will sit just a little closer to the wall. So the mount will be kind of inset in the wall a little bit. Why are you laughing at me? How many times are you going to say the wall? <laughs> yeah. It's just funny listening to you. Sorry. Yeah. We're going to get the TV mounted first to the wall. And then once the TV is mounted, mounted to the wall, uh, <laughs> we can stop working on the wall a little bit and mounting the TV to the wall. Stop. So that we can... And then we'll, uh, we'll jump back on the shelves. Since I went ahead and got the TV and the mount for it, I wanted to uh, take a pause on the shelves a little bit and get this stuff mounted.
Hey guys, guess what? Our toilet came in. Now the brand is Sunmar. It's a composting toilet. The cool thing about this toilet, it doesn't have an agitator inside the bucket. So what you can do with it is if you want to put bags in here, you totally can. And then using the compost toilet until it's relatively full, we pull the bag out, dispose of that. This is solids and that's for urine. The toilet seat diverts urine and solid right there. It's pretty tight, but uh, yeah, we're happy with it. We think it's gonna work well for us. And uh, I hope so because these things are not cheap. This is a little bit less expensive than say a nature's head. But the reason we went with this one is because it's so easy to clean. But yeah, we don't know yet how this tool that's gonna do. We don't know how much we're gonna like this. It's gonna be one of those things later on down the road that we can make a video about and let you guys know if this is actually a really good purchase. Speaking of the toilet, I cannot wait to start using this bathroom, especially the shower. Super pumped about this shower. Anyway, let's check out the shelves. Well, these are the shelves. What do y'all think? Jesse got done with putting the lights in here and it looks really cool. I really like the way that the stain turned out. It kind of matches the countertop. It's slightly different, but I think it looks really good together. We're not totally sure how we're going to place everything on the shelves yet. We know we want to get a few small baskets for the top um, to hold a few things, maybe plates and cups here, but then that would mean we would have to put them up every time we move. So we're still kind of debating on what to do as far as the shelves, but it does give us some extra storage. One thing that we were really excited about was getting these lights in here in the kitchen space. One of my favorite things is when we turn off the big lights and we just have the accent lighting on, it looks really cool. The kitchen lights on and then these little lamp lights in the living room space over here and it all just, it just feels so cozy in here and I love the way that it looks. You're whacking yourself with your tail. Hey sweet girl. Anyway guys, thanks for following along. Thanks for the comments and the support. We love it all. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that and make sure to like the video and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.